August 1, 2016, in Cali, Colombia, the Protocol Act started the National Judicial Forum Human Dignity, Presumption of Innocence and Human Rights, an event held with the support of Joint Command No. 2 of the Southwest and the Military School of Aviation Marco Fidel Suarez. About 600 people were present at this event that brought together Dr. William Soto Santiago, Executive President of the GEAP, Gabriela Lara, General Director, Dr. Oscar Mauricio Liscano, President of the Congress of the Republic, Engineer Ivan Sarmiento, National Coordinator Dr. Camilo Montoya Reyes, Judge of the Superior Council of the Judicature, Dr. Jesus Maria Lucumi, Executive Director of Afro-Colombia Viva, Dr. Sigifredo Lopez, Peace and Human Rights Advisor of the Government of Valle del Cauca, Dr. Guillermina Bravo, Representative of the House, Dr. Fabio Cordoso, High Advisor for Peace and Human Rights of the government of Valle del Cauca and members of the military, judicial and civil authorities. May this be an opportunity to reaffirm the commitment of the military forces to the respect, promotion and diffusion of human rights. Spaces like this are created in the middle of an institution that with an academic spirit speaks to the form good men who serve their country. To strengthen the effectiveness of justice at the global level. The objectives of the International Justice for Peace program were presented by Gabriela Lara, indicating that the program aims to provide international justice with the necessary democratic tools to strengthen the efficiency, autonomy, and effectiveness of the prevention and protection of human rights. The dissertation of Dr. William Soto Santiago gyrated on the need to study, analyze, and implement actions aimed at achieving the criminalization of ethnocide in national legislation and international law. Unfortunately, what is considered to be genocide was only physical extermination, leaving aside the attack against the identity of the group, that is to say, the destruction of the different facts that unite, give life, and preserve the existence of a group as such. A judge in this 21st century is an instrument of penal policy. A judge in this 21st century creates laws. In this sense, we are working to have it developed here in Colombia on Article 1122 under the terms of Law 70, which is where the government orders the instruction in the subject of ethno-education in all the public and private establishments of the country. In the second part of the forum, Congressmen, peace advisors, and high-level human rights officials expressed their commitment to work and legislation for the defense of ethnic and cultural groups. What has the Congress of Colombia thought about the ethnocide prevention? We would be willing, Dr. Guillermina, now on your turn, to present a bill that allows the typification of ethnocide in Colombia as a special crime different from genocide. What we have committed to is to sit with the National Council of Criminal Policy of the country to study with them how this criminal type would be drafted. We have all the willingness, all the decision to create. If you are so willing, working table, it can be with Dr. Guillermina with this team of Ambassadors for Peace to review the presentation of this bill. These forums at national and international level allow us to have a very clear knowledge about what affirmative action should be taken with regard to world peace and of course Colombia. De Faced with the issues and situations that the Colombian nation must confront, pedagogy for peace, a commitment to work for peace, is necessary. I think that this process has to promote in Colombia a complete revision of its structures. This process will profoundly impact the national culture. National judicial forums are a space of knowledge 
socialization, and union of efforts for the benefit of justice for peace. Thank you.